The smell of it makes me gag. Did you see how much ketchup she slathered onto that thing? Mm. Wilson should put out a memo. If you're going to bring takeout back to the office, it should cost more than a buck ninety-nine. <laughs> what time is it? Twenty to two. We better get busy. Oh, we had better. <laughs> Oh, Red. Oh, that is what I am talking about. <laughs> I thought you'd like it. <gasps> Son of a bitch. We're babysitting the two lovebirds upstairs. How'd they get in here? They walked right in. Building management said the law firm that rented this floor went bust about six months ago. Oh, the last lawyer out should have locked the door behind him. You working this solo? No, my new partner didn't show up. Must be some glitch at 1PP. They say who it is? Some dude named Fontana, Bronx Homicide. Don't know him. Sweet move for him, though. Yeah, the dude must have had some kind of hook. They left her like this? Nice and peaceful looking, huh? Well, yeah, except for the blood. Any ID? Nothing on the body, nothing in the office either. Where are her shoes? Soles of her feet are clean, so she didn't walk in here without them. Barefoot. Cross painted on her chest in blood. Looks like we're dealing with some religious nut. We canvass every office in the high rise. I couldn't make her as an employee or a client. A big office building like 55 Morris must have video. They do in the lobby. I have the tapes, but there's hundreds of people walking in and out of there. Can I help you? I'm Fontana. Oh, hey. Anita Van Buren. This is your new partner. Hey, man. Ed Green. It's about time they gave me a partner with a little smooth. I was just filling the lieutenant in. I caught a body. Oh, right. Give me a copy of the DD-5 so I can get up to speed. Missing persons is still waiting on her prints, but her autopsy is ready. It's good having you here, Fontana. I wasn't sure if he was a cop or a wise guy. Make it work, Ed. There's blunt force trauma on the left side of her head, but that didn't kill her. Lacerations inside of her lower lip. You know your way around a body. Yeah, so I've been told. She was smothered manually. Time of death between 10 and noon this morning, give or take. Lividity indicates she wasn't moved post-mortem. This girl's built pretty solid. She fight back? No, there's no defensive wounds. This is why I'm sure that she was smothered after she lost consciousness. So where did the blood on her clothes come from? It's not hers. DNA lab says it's porcine. Pig's blood? So we're looking for a guy with a pink complexion. Yeah. And a flat nose. Help me roll her. 713. Did you run her blood titers yet? Yeah. Hepatitis, yellow fever? Smallpox, cholera. Standard immunization cocktail for forward-serving personnel. Even money, 713 is a military outfit. She enlisted a couple of years ago. Good kid, decent family background. Pretty tough, too. I mean, she could handle herself if she had to. Did she have a beef with somebody in your unit? No. We were in Iraq for a year. The 713th is a military police unit. We rotated out four months ago. Your unit see any action? Nothing major. We were stationed in Baghdad. What a head game that was. Tell me about it. I was in Saigon. Shiite, Sunnis, Baptist, Kurds. Couldn't tell the good guys from the bad guys. Everybody was just glad to be home. The worst thing that happened in my company, a couple of guys flipped the Humvee. Now this. Mr. and Mrs. Starr, we're very sorry for your loss. After all your daughter did for her country, we think she deserved much better. We'll find out who did this. Did Lindsay live here with you? She was trying to save money for her own apartment. That's why she joined the reserves. So what was Lindsay doing in Manhattan yesterday? When she left the house, she was on her way to Brooklyn to meet her boyfriend. They were going into the city to uh, pick up tickets. Uh, Kath? I... Yeah, for a, a moonlight cruise. She went to get the tickets at the cruise line office. We just assumed she stayed at Donnie's last night. 
What is it, Mrs. Stone? Something was different when she came back. I asked her if everything was all right, but she wouldn't talk to me. She's been in a war, Kath. You know, I'm sure Lindsay saw things. Yeah, maybe that's it. It's gonna seem like a strange question, but do you remember what kind of shoes she was wearing when she left? Why? Was, no, no, there's no worries that way. She was completely dressed, blue jeans and white blouse with no shoes. White blouse? Lindsay had on a black T-shirt when she left the house. I made a list of all the tenants at 55 Morris. There ain't no cruise line company in that building. Obviously, she puts on the blouse over her T-shirt between here and downtown. Her boyfriends. Uh, Lindsay came over here yesterday, first thing in the morning. For what? Uh, I was supposed to take the train with her into Manhattan to pick up these booze cruise tickets, but then the cable guy showed up. Is she okay? Can you tell us about the cruise tickets? Lindsay uh, got a letter. Some company was throwing a party on a boat to honor the troops who served in Iraq. They were giving away tickets. Did Lindsay change clothes at your place yesterday? No. Why? Um, Lindsay was killed in Manhattan yesterday. What? Well, we're sorry to have to break it to you like this, but... Oh, my God. All right, Donnie. Donnie, I want you to listen to me, okay? Right now, you have to pull yourself together. Because we have questions we have to ask you. Is everything okay with Lindsay? Does she have any problems? Is anybody bothering her? I don't know. She was acting a little weird lately. What do you mean weird? Like, stressed? Her boss was a real jerk. I figured it was something at work. 